Okay, YouTube, uh, gonna uh, look at one of these countersink bits. I'm, I've been doing a lot of uh, woodworking lately and um, I wanna start countersinking some of my screws. And uh, instead of buying a full set, I wanted to try it out and see if I even wanted to go that direction, countersinking things, if I wanted to keep doing what I was doing. So I picked up this uh, Warrior which is not their best brand at Harbor Freight, but I picked up the Warrior uh, half inch six flute countersink. Um, it's item number 61552. Um, it says it's ideal for all drills. Um, it's not ideal for all drills if you read the back. Um, it's a quarter inch shake, hex shank and it's rated for 2000 RPM, which is why it's not ideal for all drills because the max rating for this drill is 2000 RPMs. This is the Cobalt 24 volt max, not the XTR, but the 24 volt max. Now, if you get the 24 volt XTR, I believe, don't quote me, but I think it's above um, 2000 RPMs. So this is gonna push the limit of what this is for or what can use this. This, however, the Bauer hammer uh, drill driver is going to be at, so right there on the back, at the top end, it's gonna be zero to 1700 RPMs. So we are gonna test both of them today. Um, we're also gonna be testing it on different drilled holes. We've got a 964, we've got 1164, we've got uh, three sixteenths, a quarter, five sixteenths, three eighths, and then the half, and see uh, see how they perform here. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now, uh, interesting enough about this is uh, it is a lifetime warranty on this, so if you break it or it gets dull, bring it back. The tip's not very sharp, and I don't know the machining. The machining on it's a little. I don't know if you can bring that into focus. There's a couple, a couple of nicks right there. You see that? Right there, in the. Anyway, we'll see how it works out. We'll start it on this. Bower here. I'm just gonna put it straight into the uh, straight into the drill without any attachments. Now it says it's good for uh, it's good for um, deboring and countersinking. Deboring and countersinking. Move the camera a little closer. So we'll see if. Uh, this works. It's going to be on the 964th hole. We're going to be on number two. So it's full power, drill mode, no clutch. So just to run it just a little bit, yeah, I could see where it would deburr a little bit. Wouldn't really countersink it, just deburr it. Let's see if we go into this one. Let's try and countersink this 964 a little bit. It's a little bit difficult because I don't have this actually um, clamped down, so I'm holding it, so it's wanting to turn a little bit. But it's kind of, I don't know if you notice, but it's kind of flaring the wood out a little bit. It's not really taking it all off. Now, this is half inch plywood, but it's kind of. Really cutting it away it's more of like grinding in a way oh went through my chuck there we 
mean, it's really grinding in a way, you know? It's not really making a precise cut exactly. Let's go on to the next one. not exactly round either I don't know if I'm gonna be using these or the counter sinks that are actually attached to drill bits let's go to this thir three sixteenths doubt it's gonna matter but let's move it up to its full potential it is getting rather warm bring it up to 2,000 rpms max you know what it was already getting hard so let's uh, let's turn this and let's clamp this This is going to be on the quarter hole. Wow. Uh, it made it a smooth round hole. It took a little bit of that plywood off though, but maybe it's better at higher RPM. Let's try this one. this plywood just reacts probably to a higher RPM. Let's try to reshape one of these old holes. I think it does better with a higher RPM. It does bigger with the, uh, the bigger hole too. The bigger hole you got, the better it goes. Now the half, half's not gonna work. Fits right inside the half there, all the way. Just right in there. So the biggest I could get it to was a three eighths and it's not really a beveled in, it's kind of a straight countersink. It's not really beveled down. So I think if you're trying to get a beveled look in between three eighths and five sixteenths, if there is one, but all I got is a five sixteenths drill bit. So I don't know. I'm not really liking this. Let's see what it looks like on the back. These are the blowouts on the back. Try it on one of these smaller ones. Nope, same wobble effect. loud shocking uh, yeah look at that you know I wonder if it would do better on instead of plywood there's just a piece of, of pine and let's uh not lose my drill bits and we'll go with a uh, let's go with a corner go with a quarter table and we'll 
Let's see what it does against this uh, pine. Works better with the pine. Well, folks, uh, I'm not going to use it. Uh, yeah, I just don't think that this is worth your dollar ninety nine. I think you can spend more, uh, or use your dollar ninety nine a little bit more wisely. I'm not going to recommend this right here. Um, for any type of precision work, I would definitely go with something a little bit better. Um, maybe I'll do a comparison with a, you know, something from Irwin or something like that in the future. But uh, I would not buy this from Harbor Freight for $1.99. Uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment or two. I like to respond to the comments. So anyway, y'all have a good day.